Oh hi guys, Emma again. Welcome back to the spare room. It's been a week or so since I posted anything at all, which is a bit slack, but I've been spring cleaning here. You can't tell from here, but we made some changes and rearranged the workshop a bit and had a bit of a clean up, which means a couple of things. One that there's probably going to be some new equipment to go in here and find places for and you've seen some of that already, you've seen my surface plate uh, another one is probably the we're getting ready to start another project and we'll talk about that soon it might be a bit exciting and for two work kind of gets in the way so if I've I've been reluctant to, to start into something else while work's been crazy as it is, but I've had a sleep in this morning and I sort of feel like maybe, maybe we can press ahead and do something. So anyway, this is just a workshop update. A couple of things I picked up. A second hand dealer on Instagram had these couple of number 58 Eagle oil cans they're fantastic things if you can get an opportunity to buy these or find them or make one uh, if you have a look at Greg Halligan's channel he actually built one and a bit bigger one than this or a, a different model than the 58 but he did build one and it was a, it's a nice looking oil can the thing I really like about these now I've used them and really I bought them for the antique value but they're easy to fill up and it's as simple as that they've got decent pumps in them they're pretty powerful I and mean, they'll shoot right across the room if you want to but for filling up spring loaded oilers and things they're fantastic but they're easy to fill I've been using this which is okay it's not a bad oil can but you gotta have a funnel, slow, miserable, messy, you get oil everywhere when you fill it up. Not a big fan. So they're pretty wonderful to have. If you can find one, get one. The other thing I bought was this, which is an Anderson Anderson hand hand scraper, a flat scraper. It's in three pieces and this is probably spring I reckon the main shaft with a handle on it it's got tungsten carbide blades a couple of them they're both this has just got a notch in there that clicks against the little ratchet teeth there and only goes one way And this is on a taper which pushes in there. So mine come with two blades. One's just about worn out. There's not a lot of carbide left on there. And they're both the same radius. Which I think is probably only about 50 millimeters. So I'd like to either make a couple of these or find a couple or find some tips to solder on them and braze on them. Uh, if anyone knows where I can find them, that'd be fantastic. Leave us a comment or get in touch. That's great. So, what are we going to do with that? Well, there's quite a few really good channels about hand scraping on YouTube. Or, or guys that have covered scraping. Stefan Gotswinder shows in some detail some hand scraping techniques and effects and what can be done and how to get things flat etc. Gary Cure at Tools for Machines check his channel out. He a big shout out to him because it's a fantastic channel really he is a pretty fluent speaker, if I can say that, Gary. 
but he covers some fairly technical subjects in real depth and he's got a good balance as of traditional machine practices like scraping and he's got a 3d printer and a cnc machine and all that stuff as well so good channel awesome cat well worth a look guys if you're interested in scraping The other thing I bought is this big angle plate and for this next project I'm going to need this and it's probably going to get used like it is for a couple of things but at some point because this is just a Chinese angle plate and it's probably all right if we have a look at it it doesn't rock any I haven't blued it up or had a, a close look at it yet there's a bit of a rock that way But it's going to need a little bit of final attention and, and finishing. Stefan's channel went into some detail about rebuilding an adjustable angle plate. This has very similar problems to his head. There's really these grooves are ugly if you have a look. You can't put a a bolt through here because the sides just don't come out to the sides of the holes they're tapered and they're not straight and all that sort of stuff they're just ugly and the same on this one they're not too bad but there's a couple of ugly ones also the casting is pretty rough really and I don't like the idea that you're bolting down on rough cast, it's a bit rough too. I'd like to do something about that. And I'd like to get it flat and square. So that's a hand scraping project that probably I'd like to do. So that's in the wind. I've got another angle plate too. Really a bit rough. It's not bad, but does a bit of that and it needs quite a bit of scraping across that way and I'll blue that up and maybe I'll have a go at that too but there's no slots or anything in that so this really needs to be machined I think and to do that in the lathe we need another angle plate so we might do the other one first as per everyone's comments I've been using them the box is the lid for this which is really seems to work out really well thanks for the tips on that that's a really good thing to have feedback and a great idea that's what we're doing another thing that we're working on is Mortimer a bit and this is starting to go back together we've made this nut which is a coarse thread and I got a special tap for it and the flywheel's all back on and reasonably good. There's a little bit of wobble in it, but not too much, and it's pretty nice. And the head's starting to go back together too, which is really good. But this really needs a rub back with some 1200 or 2000 wet and dry and another coat of paint. So it's going to get that soon, and that's probably a job for this afternoon. The rest of the bits are slowly coming together. There's that tap, which is 3814. It's probably the coarsest tap I've ever used, but it went through that bit of steel pretty easy, so I'm happy about that. Also, I've got a set of taps which is quarter inch 24, which are also an odd thread and a die. One of these, and these are the, the tool post rests. These go in here with a, with a thumb screw in the front. And these are quarter by 24 but one of these is stripped so I'm going to drill this out and 
put a plug in there or, or thread a plug in there and file him off and put a scotch key in it or something and re-tap him so that he's good as new the other one seems really good these handles are slowly coming together they've had a fair bit of filler in them and they're starting to get nice and smooth tail stocks coming together we've still got to do something with the the tail stock quill this is the connecting rod which is pretty cool it's timber it's probably oak I would say when you clean the, the black paint off it so maybe I'll polish that up I'm not sure how I'm going to finish that yet but that's another job that needs to be done this is slowly coming together bit by bit so there will be another video on putting and finishing it off but this is just an update because there's a fair bit of work in it and there's a few little jobs that need to be done still the other thing that's happened is that the enlarger's moved. It's not gone yet, but it's up for sale. And I'd be happy to, know, to probably donate it to a school or college even, um, if someone can use it. It is a big machine. Like, it's freaking huge, actually. Um, it's not really a bench mount machine unless you've got 20-foot ceilings. But it's potentially very useful in larger what I've done is put a whiteboard up here in all the best YouTube channel practice and I've got a whiteboard marker and we've got a bit of a list of to-do projects and things to address and stuff anyway about going on 12 months ago I bought two castings from Myford Boy in England with Fairfax engines because it's a good idea to support YouTube creators and it's really nice I've got t-shirts and stickers and things from guys who are trying to make a go on YouTube and yeah, jump out and support them. The Randy, Rich, the Randy Richard Scribes are a really good example of that. It's a really nice tool. A pretty reasonable, val uh, pretty reasonable sort of a cost, and it's good value. And he's a great guy, and it's collectible, and it's nice. It's a nice thing to have. So jump out and support guys, but. Myford Boy has some really nice kits and really nice quality engines and castings. This is the the main casting and there's a flywheel. For this little engine and a set of drawings that are fairly comprehensive. Myford Boy on his channel has got a good series on building this engine using a milling machine with DRO and all that sort of stuff and it's a pretty quick build I've only got a lathe and a drill press we're going to have a go at building it because it can certainly be done but I might not go into quite as much detail and I will talk about some of the, the interesting setups and things that he's done that he, if you know Myford Boy or not at all, has not talked about so that's the next project and look out for the videos about that soon I'll try and have the first one up by the end of the week so that's where we're starting with that so we've turned the drill press around against the end of the bench so that gives us a bit more bench space and we've turned this bench over here into basically a, a clean bench. There's bits here that have been worked on paint on this board. We've got a surface plate. Hopefully I'm going to get Princess Marina back up there. There's a clock project I want to do fairly soon. There's a clock repair. There's pretty much a million jobs to do here. This bench is still 
completely untidy. It's not quite as bad as ABEs yet, but it's getting there. But this is the the rough heavy workbench. The lathe, of course, is over there. And I put some storage behind us for for tools and hand tools and things, so they're all out of the way. Anyway, that's just an update for this week. Thanks for watching, guys. Be nice to each other and don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, give us some ideas about things. Way to get tips from a scraper. How to finish the timber. How to fix this hole. And more soon.